Hi, I'm Chad, and you're watching 9 to 5 to Life Off Grid. Just under a year ago, my wife and I, along with our four daughters, moved way out here, way off the grid, on an almost raw 80-acre piece of property, with nothing but a tiny little hunting cabin and a little shed, with about a third acre of yard. Here we are installing our simple little propane on-demand water heater in our shower house. It's going to free up quite a bit of time for us each day. And with the plans we've got this spring, we're going to need as much time as we can get. Speaking of plans, we have some big news that we're going to share with you guys in this video. So stick around and enjoy the show. Yep, mud season has begun. What's your favorite animal on our on our farm? Uh, Isaac. I have plenty. This is one of my favorites. This warm, sunny weather has us all out soaking up the sun. Even Peanut, Autumn's guinea pig. Let the spring fun begin. We've been busting our butts. Seeing this progress is just awesome. Here's what it looked like when we first got here. Oh, what a day. It's like a war zone out here. We've been taking trees down all day. It's like a war zone when you know stuff's getting done. 
unfortunately we had to cut this beautiful birch down it was actually growing on an angle anyway and we're gonna have a greenhouse right here so i had to go we've got plenty of birch on our property though but man it's nice to open up the woods back here a little bit man it's weird being back this far in the woods and looking that way and be able to see our cabin from here it was so thick in here um just not long ago a little bit by a little bit going and those chickens over there do you see them chickens by the door let me zoom in on that real quick oh, we got to get them put up something they're a pain in the butt you see them way up there they just like to huddle up right in front of our doorstep that way they know that we know that they're there when we walk in and out of our cabin let me walk you around and uh check out what we got going on all right come over this way this is all up on a big hill so right right there is our cabin and down below it is the creek a little creek So here's our war zone. Usually I don't knock this many trees down first. I'll usually cut down like four or five and then I'll cut them all up and <clears throat> I'll delim them, cut them up into firewood. And then the kids all attack it and pile it up like over there. See so it over there. I'm gonna get them all cut up in a whole bunch down, cut. That way by the time I get home from work, wife and kids will have it all picked up for me. So you might be wondering what the heck one does out here in the off-grid wilderness. Whole bunch of stuff, check this out. Well, one thing we like to do is uh, we play with fire. It's one of the coolest things ever invented. It can be dangerous though. so far do us a big favor and hit that thumbs up button it really helps out our channel and we even like to train chickens while we're out here for the circus this is Emily right mm -hmm. Emily we call it Eagle Tree Emily And dishes. We love doing dishes out here on the off-grid homestead, huh, girls? Mm -hmm. See? No. What? Come on. Come on. Talia, say yes. I love dishes. I don't. No, I hate dishes. Haley, do you like dishes? Yeah. Spending quality time with your big sister. Even our goats like to play in the fire. See, it's it's not just humans that like fire. Animals like it too. We 
We also like to play with chainsaws. Um, you're not gonna get any safety tips from me because I'm terrible with it. I'm probably gonna cut my leg off because I don't wear chaps. But if you do want safety tips, go check out Homestead Overland. Great YouTube channel. He did a cool video on safety tips, but all the good gear you should wear. Because one day you're gonna see a video of me cutting my leg halfway off. It'll be, it'll be pretty neat. But uh, yeah, Homestead Overland. Check them out on YouTube. So what we're doing here, while we're having all this fun, we are carving out our own little homestead. We've got 80 acres just filled with trees so close together. This right here, you couldn't even walk through last year. So we've just been slowly, within time, splitting, or I'm um, cutting wood out, and cutting trees down, cutting up for firewood, burning the branches, carving out our little homestead. We need a pasture for some more goats, probably for some sheep. We need grass growing, there's no grass out here. So what we're really doing out here, just living a great life, the best life that we can in a different way of a lot of other people. But believe it or not, there's a lot of people doing this. You just don't see it. And we even let the kids play in the fire too. And we all like to play with squirrels. Is there a squirrel call? Yeah, it brings something crashing up. It's working. It's working. Coming down. It's working. I called these in. Hey, Daddy. Oh my gosh. Mama, there's two. There's two right here. It's right there. Yeah, there's a lot all over, everywhere. You girls ain't the only ones hunting these squirrels. We're not hunting them, we're trying to um, feed them. You're trying to feed them? Yeah. Well, Oberon's trying to feed them too, feed them to himself. Dang! Clea, you're just beautiful. Thank you. And your feet. Look at those off-grid feet. I can't help I don't like shoes and mud. The mud feels good between my toes. Off grid lipstick? Yeah. It's cool. I like your sunglasses. They're your safety glasses or what? Or your fashion safety glasses? Mm, fashion safety glasses. Cool. Alright, we're gonna burn the rest of this wood or what? Yeah. Cool. I might take a couple breaks though. Couple breaks? That's all you do is take a break. That's all you do. Well, our little love shack cabin just isn't cutting it anymore. It's just way too small, way too cramped, and way too old, just falling apart. As you all know, lumber prices have really skyrocketed. So building a regular traditional house right now would just be crazy, especially for what we're trying to do out here. So these logs right here, we've got given to us. We're gonna utilize these logs and other sources of material that we have. And we're gonna build ourselves something amazing. So stay tuned as we build our new off-grid cabin in the woods. We're gonna show you every single step of the way. 